hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how i created this pen trip effect in photoshop with easy steps without having to waste more time let's get started the first thing i would like to do is click on file and i'll give this a file name that befits it so for this I'm just going to be using pen trip effect Right. so if you observe I'm working in pixels this time right so I have my page set to 1920 by 1080 pixels resolution 300 color mode RGB okay so the first thing I'll do is I'll go to solid adjustment solid color and this is the code I use for my background so you can copy this and use the same thing to just so we are on the same page right so ctrl zero moves your page to the middle and just the way mine is to or you can click on windows and select actual size to get that size like that so i'm going over to bring on the first element for this design which is this image right so i'm going to reduce the size not too much yeah i think somewhere around here is good press enter when you're done I'm going to just position it manually in the middle like this going over to bring in this next element vital element for this design which is the paint drop itself or the pen trip as you might have it so I want you to pay attention pay close attention to this part so what you do is reduce it right reduce the size just so it covers um, these areas I'm gonna take this up so I have space at the bottom part you use it along this line like this I'm gonna turn it off while I create a mask for this layer here like this turn it back on to see exactly where it is so I can turn it off Hold down control while you click on this layer here like this. Why this is still selected. So next thing you need to do is make sure your flow is set to 100. While you gently rub off these areas here like this. Make sure the layer you have on top is turned off when you are working on this. And your foreground color is set to black not white all right gently remove these areas like this make sure you are close to being perfect the next thing you're going to do is revert the mask because there are some areas of imperfection you can see if i leave it at black so i'm just going to click on this to revert with my brush i'm going to make this smaller you can see why I have to make this smaller, right? So make this smaller and um, double around these areas like this, like this, all the way. So I reveal all these areas. I don't need to conceal these places. So I'm going to reveal all these areas here like this. Perfect. okay so i haven't done that uh let me just close up all of these areas all right okay so just have to get rid of this just delete it we will no longer be using it again so directly on top of this i'm going to create a new layer I'm going to swap colors so this is the color code that i used so you can copy my color code let me shift to the color i'm using and use the same thing too all right so i'm just going over to my brush my flow um okay i'm going to reduce my size this is too much too much so reducing my size good so 
I think something like this is nice. Change the blend mode to linear dodge add. Create another new, another layer. But this time I'm going to use a lighter version of that same color. I'm going to change the blend mode to linear dodge add. And I'm just going to let me reduce my size. Too small. Then gently I'm going to make you can see how this is actually making a difference here. Note that my flow is at 100 and make sure you don't get to the base of the image itself. So you can go, always go back there to reduce the opacity, right? So I'll set my own to 66. So I'm going to create a new layer, reduce it furthermore, but this time I'm going to put the light effect somewhere around here. So I have three layers for the light effects. I'm going to increase, so I'm going to increase, I just, yeah, because it was too dark. So with this one selected, what I'm going to do is, let me group this first. I'm going to name it, yeah, you guess right, light. Okay, so I'm going to work in an image. So I'm going to filter, camera raw filter. And I'm just going to make some adjustment to the image to make it more, to make it pop more. So I'm going to increase the texture all the way to, let me increase it. Okay, I think that's, that's good. I'll increase the clarity and also increase the vibrance. When I'm done, I'll click OK. So you can see the difference between the before and the after. You can see that the details are now out. The image is popping itself. So I'm going to create a layer above that. I'm going to use this color. You can use my color code. I'm going over to my brush. Turn off the cap lock to get rid of that plus sign. I'm going to reduce the size. Make sure your flow is set to 100. Opacity uh, um, now blend mode screen. Right, reduce the size. So I'm just going to apply this little little dots that looks like light all around her. I make it small when I need to make it small, and also make it big when I need to make it big too. That's the concept. So it looks more like stars. Yeah. I'm going to create one layer behind the image, but this time I'm going to use a very, very dark color because I want to use uh, what I want to create is actually a shadow. Right? So my flow is at 100. Make the brush slightly bigger. And I'm just going to click on this part here, like this. Ctrl T, hold down shift while you bring this down like this. Move it up a bit. So this is how you create a realistic shadow for that image itself. So you can choose to reduce the opacity of the shadow like this and we're good to go. Like this. So I'm just going to bring in this element here, make sure you are above the first layer, increase the size, yeah. So Ctrl U, I'll just reduce the saturation, click OK and change the blend mode to overlay, easy peasy. And of course I'm going to reduce the opacity like this. like this so um, I want to apply some lighting effect to the image itself right so I'm going to clip this on the image alone 
going over to the settings i'm just going to increase the exposure here don't worry it's in good shape you're going to see how this is going to turn up so with this i'm just going to invert my mask Control i press Control i on your keyboard and um, i'm going to reduce my brush size having done that i'm just going to go gradually on the edge of the image just to reveal the light effect because you have a huge chunk of light effect behind that so it's expedient that you make the reflection around a hair like this so you make a mistake invert the mask and um, take it backwards to like this so i'm just going to reduce the flow and apply it to these areas here on the dress too you can see how this is making a huge difference I'm gonna continue on this side do the same thing to, to this point like this um, that's a mistake I'm gonna clean this up revert the mask so I'm gonna add to all these regions like this and then we're good to go right just make sure you don't overdo things right okay so if you feel that the effect is too much you can use this to reduce it from the opacity so i'll just leave mine at 70 something 70 70 anyway 70 is okay so i'm going to create a color balance right so i'm just going to use the settings so feel free to use my settings and for the highlights i'm going to use this lastly i'm going to go to solid color again but this time I'm going to use this color and I'm going to clip it on this first image. I'm going to change the blend mode to linear dodge add. I'm going to invert the mask like I did for the exposure. The same thing I'm going to repeat. Go over to the mask and I'm just going to apply the color here. Make sure you're not overdoing it at the end of the day. Strive for perfection. Right? Apply here. Apply here also. Okay. So, like I did with the exposure or the color balance, you can reduce your opacity here too for this one okay so you can see now you can see how nice looking this is so of course with few steps you can achieve this on your own then if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up drop your comment if there's anything you're not clear on and please if you've not subscribed to my channel at this point Please kindly hit the subscribe button and please don't forget to turn on the post notification so you miss any of the videos that I'll be dropping anytime from now. I love you all. Bye.